I'm really pleased to be here tonight talking about the Shaker High School Writing Center. We've been working on the Writing Center for a few years now because our goal was to make sure that our Writing Center was a thriving place in Shaker High School led primarily by students. And I'm pleased tonight to say that over the last few years, under the guidance of Mrs. Matros and the English Department, we have come up with a writing center that matches in philosophy writing centers in many local colleges and universities. Our students here tonight have really worked very diligently in order to make the writing center the place that it is today and the place that it will become for tomorrow. It is with pride that I present to you Mrs. Matros and the students who have made our Writing Center vision a reality. So a few years ago when we had the March Workshop Day when we could go to the community, Kathy Skeels and I went to Siena to talk to Meg Woolbright who gave us some helpful pointers about how to begin a Writing Center. And the first thing we needed was a space which we got, um, and the second thing we needed was a plan, um, which the Reading Center Committee, uh, formed of certain members of the English Department, um, came up with, and the students who were in the Reading Center course first semester really brought to life. Um, so first semester, the students in that course did a lot of research about what a Reading Center is and what a Reading Center is not, and wrote proposals about how a Reading Center um, in theory, could become a reality at Shaker High School. So their ideas ranged from how we could better help English language learners to how we could help um, students who are struggling with low confidence in their writing and um, with students who are overly confident in the quality of their first drafts. And those students really came to a good understanding of the fact that the Writing Center is a place where students can be trained to have conversations that will help other writers feel like writers um, and less like students who are producing pieces for their teachers. Um, so the whole goal of the Writing Center is not a place where we will send remedial writers to feel worse about themselves or to perfect a single piece of writing but where writers can go to find a sympathetic audience who has gone through similar struggles, um, who has researched um, ideas about how best to lead that writer to a place of confidence. A writing consultant is a person who has been trained in some of the basic foundations of um, grammar and sentence structure, um, but more importantly a person who has been trained in some basic foundations about conversation. Um, so a writing consultant should be a student who is open to listening to a writer who has ideas. Ideally that person could offer some expertise about how that idea could transfer into writing, but more importantly a writing consultant knows how to ask the right questions. A writing consultant knows how to say, I see that you have an idea here. Can you tell me more about it? Can you give me some examples about it? Or a writing consultant knows how to say, I see that you have some examples that you're writing about this topic. Can we talk a little bit about what your idea is? And to help that writer really feel like the piece of writing becomes an expression of an actual idea that that person wants to convey. And this is why it's so perfect that this happens from student to student, and that this is a peer-centered writing center. This is like your thesis? Kind of, yeah. All right, so... Yeah, actually, yes, it is. You read, could you read it aloud? Um, in order to establish the power and strength of Macbeth, Shakespeare uses metaphors and similes to describe the brutality and assertiveness that he brings as a leader. So here you're focusing on metaphors and similes. Do you have examples of like what metaphors and similes he uses? Or yeah, like there's one part that he says like um, the captain talks about how Macbeth unseamed a person from the nave to the chops. Mm -hmm. So like from like the belly button up to the face. Uh -huh. So he like stuck his sword in him and pulled it up to his face. So mm -hmm. that's pretty brutal. So why don't you like why don't you focus in on those two points though, about how uses metaphors and similes to describe the brutality, like focusing on a metaphor or a simile that like really relates to that whole nave to the chops yeah. kind of thing and to kind of zero in on what you need to write and what you need to write about. Well 
looking for like a different thing. Like I'm trying to help her like develop her idea and get the story across of what she wants it to be. Like the teacher is trying to help her like to fit all the requirements of the rubric. Like that's what when the teacher came over was she was like, you need to do this, this, and this to fulfill the rubric. Like it needs to be this long. You need to type it and stuff. Where when I was talking to her, I think she felt more comfortable because I was like, oh yeah, like this makes sense in your story. You want the princess to be saved by the prince. Because even if you know, they may not achieve the numerical grade there or the letter grade that they're looking for, but they leave with an understanding of what they do well as well as what they could improve upon. And they learn that not through us saying, this is what you do well, this is what you do poorly, but by us asking questions and um, provoking thought and conversations, which makes them say, oh, I realize I like this, I think that this sounds awkward, I think this could sound better, and a lot of what comes out is from them and not our suggestions. So I think that definitely makes them sound, that definitely makes them leave as a better writer because they know their own writing much, much better. Um, so for young writers, I worked with a girl who was very concerned with the length of her piece, and um, what we were trying to focus on really was revision and how, um, how to make her ideas better and like, um, to make them fuller and blend them into the story more. And so every time I would say, let's add something here, she would say, but it has to be seven pages long and I don't think I'll be able to fit it in. And so um, I said, you know, just try and focus on your idea for now and then later we'll go back and cut things out and like tighten things up and just make it all fit. And that ended up working out, but every single time I said, let's add something, she would be concerned with the page length. So, um, one of the things we're doing in the Writing Center is just trying to focus on making the ideas better and making like better writers as opposed to um, like focusing on like rubric guidelines like font and double spacing and things like that. So. Make sure the teachers are aware of that and make sure the teachers are accepting of this idea so they can say, look, if you're looking for extra help other than my opinion, why don't you try this? It might help you quite a bit. And if we could get that type of dynamic through um, or the teachers at Shaker, it would definitely make a difference. And okay. uh, this past year, um, I had two students in my 11th grade Regents class who were involved in the Pilot Writing Center tutoring um, project. And both of those students demonstrated tremendous growth from that experience. Um, you know, initially I was a little bit skeptical. I guess not, not, not skeptical so much as unsure about how the whole thing would work. And then as the, um, by about the second quarter, I would say, as, as they became more and more engaged in the project and involved in research and um, developing as peer tutors, I began to see a change in both of them. And it was really remarkable to see how much they progressed, both as writers and as, I guess I would say, more confident, assertive leaders in the classroom. The other thing was that I was able to use a writing center for some of my own, uh, my other weaker students, not tutors, but just students in my classes. And it is, quite frankly, a wonderful way to provide differentiated instruction. Students, you know, who, both for students who are extremely, you know, um, who are somewhat reluctant or struggle as writers, and for students who excel at writing, it provides an opportunity for them to work with peers in a smaller, more, I guess, accessible, less threatening environment in the classroom and really work towards specific writing goals and begin to evaluate themselves as writers in an arena that's, I think, much more effective than a large classroom of 29 students where, you know, they might get two minutes of the teacher's time. It's a different vibe when a student has to have an idea and prove it and support it for a teacher because the student is, to some degree, on the defensive. And when that student is explaining himself or herself to another student, there's nothing that comes out of it in the end that's evaluative or that's judgmental. It is really just about clarity of the expression of the idea. And the conversation goes to a more pure place of, this is what I want to say, 
This is how I want to say it. Can you help me get to that place? And if our writing consultants can be good listeners and can be open-minded human beings, then our writing center will be successful.